Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and Apple has released iOS 17.3.1, the latest update to iOS 17, coming in at around 300 megabytes. Of course, this is a small update with no new features, but includes security fixes and bug fixes, which are actually very important for your device. And one of them is stated right here. Now, if you have ever had this problem with your device, then this update will fix that. The problem with text might just duplicate or overlap while typing. If you have ever encountered this problem with your device on iOS 17, then this update will fix that for you. So as I said, it's a small update, no new features, but it's still important and I suggest every user to update. And once you update, here are the five things that I suggest every user should do. Now, the first one would be checking the carrier update. If you're having problems with your signal or something like that, check for a carrier update. Usually carriers will release updates after an iOS software update. Now, the way to do that, pretty simple. Head on to your settings, go under general, and then just tap on the about section. Stay there for like 10 seconds. And if you have an update for your carrier, you will get a pop-up on your screen to update and that's it. It will update in a couple of seconds. You don't need to do anything more. If you open this, stay there for like 10 seconds and you see no pop-up, that means that you don't have any update for your carrier. Next up is the battery health. Now, the reason I suggest every user to check the battery health of their device after they have updated is because the battery health will show the real percentage after you have updated to a new iOS version because that's when the, your device will recheck all its components and will show you the real battery health. Now, you do this especially if you're very close to the 80% mark, which means that your device needs a battery replacement. So let's say if your device is at 81 or 80 and you update to iOS 17.3.1, your device might have dropped under 80. So you need to check and see if that's true or not. And if you need to replace the battery of your iPhone. So head on to your settings, battery, and then battery health and charging and see if anything has changed here. The next thing I suggest you do is update your apps. Usually when Apple releases new software updates, also a lot of apps will release new updates and most of them will be released to actually just work better with the new iOS version. So I suggest that you update your apps to the latest version. Of course, go to your account here under the app store, make sure you have all your, all your apps updated. If you don't want to bother with that, you can of course do that automatically. Simply head onto your settings and then go under the app store settings and right here will have app updates. You enable that and everything will be done automatically. Now, when talking about apps, once you have updated to iOS 17.3.1, or any other iOS update, I suggest that you take a look at the apps on the battery section. Now, the reason I say that is because when you go here, you will see how much every app is using on your iPhone, how much battery every app is consuming. And if you see something that doesn't look good, like an app that you don't actually use a lot, but it's consuming a ton of battery, then it might be the right time to actually replace that app. So when you update to a new iOS version, that app might not have an update and might not be compatible with that iOS version. So it might just consume a ton of battery. That's why I suggest you take a look after a couple of days or so after updating to a new iOS version, you take a look at the apps here and see if the battery uses is normal for those apps. And last but not least, make sure you go ahead and go to your settings, general, and then software update, and make sure you have automatic updates enabled, especially for security responses and system files, because these are really important. It will be basically small updates that will fix security bugs on your device. So you want to make sure that you always have the latest ones enabled and of course installed on your iPhone. So make sure you have all the auto updates enabled on your device. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that like button and of course, subscribe for more videos and I'll see you on the next one.